Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, just an incredible temperature range early this morning, starting off in some cases close to freezing, only to recover several hours later up to 70, 71 degrees. So we're talking about a 34, 35 degree warm up from sunrise to the afternoon hours. And that's typical during the early spring. You can start off with a chill in the morning and then really warm up nicely in the afternoon. Case in point, we'll do the math here. Smithfield at 34 degrees this morning and Taunton was down to 31 and frosty. Throw in that strong May sunshine, the dry air, and you get a rapid warm up. Keep in mind, dry air cools off rapidly at night, but it also warms up rapidly during the daytime. That's why you can get these big ranges in temperature when the humidity is so low, whereas in the summertime when it's very humid, it's just as hot at night as it is during the afternoon hours. Doppler radar is quiet. Let's take a look at live pictures of Newport. Let me step out of the way. Well, beautiful night. City by the sea. Temperatures are in the 50s. Clear skies, 54 in Newport. Providence, 56. Most areas now low and mid 50s. It'll head into the 40s overnight, but not as cool or as cold as last night. Skies have cleared out after a few clouds this evening, tracking moisture uh, across the Ohio River Valley. Unfortunately, severe weather, Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio this evening with strong thunderstorms. This boundary responsible for some of these storms developing, and the boundary is really separating dry air to the north and very humid air to the south. So we measure uh, humidity with the dew point. So everything that's green, the humidity is high. Notice the dry air over uh, New England, so it's certainly hard to create any significant precipitation when you have this very low humidity. So we're looking pretty good, getting real close. And really temperatures all across New England right now are in the 50s, including uh, 59 in Concord, New Hampshire, and mid 50s to upper 50s towards New York City. So Futurecast starts off this evening and overnight with clear skies. Notice the clouds staying away. So sunshine tomorrow morning starts off at around 50, 55. Nice warm up in the afternoon. We're thinking 72, 73 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So another bonus day coming up. Here we are tomorrow evening around 8, 9 o'clock, skies are still clear. So just a picture-perfect day on tap. Future cast in the morning, temps warming through the 50s to eventually 60s with plenty of sunshine. And then during the afternoon hours, topping out in the lower 70s. Now, the coastline should warm up well into the 60s, but then late in the day, you'll cool back down with a sea breeze. So, uh, Narragansett, uh, don't expect the high to be only 55. You'll probably hit 60, 65, only to cool back to 55 by around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Doesn't take much of a sea breeze to knock the temperature down, whereas the further inland you go away from any ocean influence, you can clearly see the much warmer air temperatures in the lower 70s, northern part of the state, interior Massachusetts, low 70s, coastal mass in the mid to upper 60s. All right, seven day future cast Thursday is a carbon copy of tomorrow. Looking good, more sunshine. Temperatures again topping out in the upper 60s to low 70s. Now for Friday, some showers though. Right now it appears as though the timing on this is going to be during the uh, evening hours and overnight. So at this point we think most of the uh, daylight hours of uh, Friday uh, should be on the dry side. Some scattered showers on Saturday, a warm day up to 70. And at this point, um, I'm leaning towards the Saturday evening, Saturday night. So we may squeak out a mostly dry daytime Saturday before the showers work in. Sunday's a lot cooler, but it's dry. A mix of clouds and sunshine, though. High temperature at only at 61 degrees. But now through at least Friday morning, we are looking a okay. Those 72s look really nice, don't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, we deserve it. All right. Thank you, Tony.